Hello students, and welcome back to Hexed Education. This is, epi this is lesson number 16, and today we're going to be talking about two weapons in Hexed, the Battle Axe and Battle Sign. Now these are two um, weapons, both from Tinker's Construct, and uh, it, it, essentially one of them is uh, fairly useful, if slow, knockback and AoE weapon, and the other one is a joke weapon. So, first and foremost, we will talk about the Battle Axe. Here we go, and uh, just for, just to show you how it's made, got the materials in U, Volume Two here. And here we go. The battle axe is made with two broad axe heads, which is which is what you use to make um, the. Oh, uh, the lumber axe. That was it. Uh, tool binding and a tough rod. Uh, harvest wood blocks in a, a, a one by nine tower. So it is fairly useful as as, as a wood harvesting uh, device. Um, I, I, I would say in hexes, it's not as useful as as a hatchet. But if you if you want to use the battle axe as a weapon, then it's uh, cer certainly used used to um, in, in that regard. Uh, now, unfortunately, in hexes. Uh, and this is not my notes. Uh, right click to be determined. This ability is incomplete. So we have to test that out, but I think it means that the, the version that's in Hexit is still um, incomplete, meaning that the, the right click, which was an, it's supposed to be an AoE, is, is not uh, there. Sorry about that. I was getting, getting a text message. So let's give it a try. I got a, a new man battle axe. And pretty normal for the speed, so let me try right clicking. Whoa. Oh, wow. Okay, this is definitely not what, what I said in my notes. So I get a jump boost, what is it? Jump hunger. Strength and speed increase. So it's sort of like a temporary uh, a steroid boost. Use it before battle and you get enhanced damage. Very nice. Okay, but what I wanted to show you was how, how it works on, on trees. So be right back. Okay, and we are once again back in the southern end of our, of our overworld campus. Uh, better known as the lumber yard. So, according to the notes, this should um, basically one hit a tree. Yeah, it seems it seems like the white. And let's check up there. Very nice. Okay, so okay, so I can now say that in, in Hexa, the battle axe is a fairly good re re replacement for for a hatchet. I mean, it still uses up the durability, but you have to replace it in any case. And, and, and unless the tree is more than nine high, it'll mostly uh, do it. Now, what I, I'm curious about is for larger trees. I'm just going to switch to Dawn, because there are a couple of zombies around here. There are some skeletons. And let's see if we can find a big tree. I'm um, not really seeing anything. I've got swampland here. Come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I don't know if this would be a true test exactly because we just come across a very large meteor strike. This has got to be a 20 by 20. This is the same size as the one we have on our campus. Must have struck um, probably when we, when we heard the, the sound an episode or so ago, but uh, these large trees unfortunately are too badly damaged, so I don't think this will actually function uh, with the correct test, but let's just see. This is fairly high up, but, it's in, but it doesn't connect. Yeah, that's what I thought. So if I had hit that with a hatchet, it would have just algorithmed up and taken the whole thing down, but because it, it only does the, the tower, the one column, 
it is faster than than, than hatch actually. Is, uh, however, it doesn't beat your, it does not beat recapitator. So you can use it as as a lumber axe, but it's an axe. It, it's a battle axe. It's meant for battle. So be right back. Okay, and we're back in our melee weapons department, and I think this concludes our discussion of the battle axe and its various usages. Uh, it's definitely not not the same thing that I found online, so uh, don't don't be fooled by that. The right click does not have an AOE; it has instead uh, a jump forward, a jump boost, strength, uh, a little bit of hunger, and a speed boost. So definitely worth investing in when you get a chance. Um, I'm not, I'm I'm not sure how it is versus a sword, really, but it's different. Definitely give it a try. Okay, next up, we're talking about the battle sign. And when I first saw this, I was like, this is so cool. Then I started realizing what it actually is, and I was like, this really blows. Okay, basically, the battle sign is a joke weapon. Uh, the damage it does is not nearly as good as a sword or, or a rapier or any other, any other weapon. Uh, it, 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 apparently, apparently, from what I've, what I've found out, it's a reference to... Uh, uh, a player on on the Minecraft server named Zisto, and basically it's a weapon that he used at some point or continually uses. So, yeah, and you can block with it like this, but that's it. It just does a little bit of damage. Not really worth it. If you if you want to make um, uh, uh, the battle sign pieces, I recommend you use them to uh, to to to, to, to um, put beheading on your on your on your weapons so using obsidian. But uh, we're actually going to talk about that next episode. So, in summation, uh, Battle Axe, real weapon, pretty good. See if you like it, and especially if you want to use, um, what is it? if you want to use Simon's uh, skin from Yogg's Cast, who's the Iron Dwarf, you'll actually have a Battle Axe to use. So, I'm going to give it a try. Uh, but the Battle Sign, uh, if you're a fan of Zisto's stuff, then give it a try. Otherwise, it's pretty much not worth making. So, Okay, this concludes uh, this, uh, this lesson of uh, Hex Education. Uh, there was another quick one. we got another quick one coming up. And then after that, yeah, it's going to be a little more fun. So I'll see, uh, I'll, I'll see you later, students. Class dismissed.